All right, my friends, it's Hank, back with another episode here at Fort Hagen. Taking it a minute at a time. I've got some ragstag meat I'm going to collect, but I'm still concerned about turrets up here. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Come on, boy. It's time to go. <laughs> that same setup with the uh, survival configuration menu. I wish there was an easier way, but there's just hey. no... How you doing, buddy? Go on. Come on, boy. Hey. What? Looks like you got something to say. We sure. Uh-huh. Nick. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. If I knew how to correct that bug, I would, but I have not the slightest idea. Kind of want to head around here, because I've already kind of pre-checked it out. In the last episode, we ran up against all those uh, robots. My concern is still mines, but I think I'll be alright. Sounds like a turret, maybe. Might as well do a live save, temp save. Because I have had problems with the pagan freezing before, but. Nice little spot here. Unfortunately, it's not a weapon station, which is what I really actually need. to decide maybe if I go in through the bottom or scout around. I think we'll scout around a little bit. Then we'll come back and rest. Hey. Grab a couple items from dog meat. Round out my uh, 308 to bring me up, back up to 100, so 15 rounds will do. Take um, probably another 30, if we'll do 45 rounds of 10. Round out our 40 millimeter with 15. Drop some of these microfusion cells. And a few of these cartridges. load up on frags 
and a couple of remote nukes. Well, they get pretty heavy, so how about just um, one of them? Got half a mind to carry my rocket launcher, so I will. And I'll drop the uh, stuff I gotta pull um, the legendaries off of. A little more 50 caliber Heads ammunition up. would probably be a good idea as well. Let's take that to uh, 40 rounds. And a rocket launcher is no good without rockets. So we'll just take six of those. And let's take a look around here with this... Uh, binoculars and see what we see. We'll go down to this far building, kind of circle around the outskirts of the town. What you got, boy? This looks dangerous to me. I just get, yeah, you ever get that feeling? You need to go with your gut. If it, it doesn't seem right, it's probably not. It's a death claw stomping around, but a good distance away at least. for taste. If I had some tar berry, I could do all kinds of... I could berry mint hats. Poor guy. Those mattresses are just not the kind of ones that I would want to sleep on. To me, it looks like an active turret. <laughs> Get him from the back with a 15. Generally, you're pretty good. Now why this area has me so nervous, I can feel it in my bones. At least I can strip these armors. If 
I'm not mistaken. Heads up. Here's what I've got. Dog meat or, uh... I think it's dog meat that's got the extra... If he would make an appearance. Wait there. Come on. Look alive. Nope, that's all I got. Can at least improve Nick's um, gear. I'm all ears. Howard is going to be something I'm going to want. Well, you can slayers, but if I had um, troubleshooters, I'd go with that. But assassins will be fine. Hey, I'm listening. Okay, so he's all set. Thank you. Also, I can find some weapons. There's a workbench. I can strip those uh, others, but I kind of want to secure this area up a little bit before I do anything like that. Hopefully there's a switch. Close this garage door. I don't see one. Kind of got my ass in the wind right now. And I really don't like having my ass in the wind. weapons and strip the legendaries. turn something into a violent and I believe that's going to be this uh, instigating is good I'll just give it some thought I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time I don't 
think this has a legendary on it, but I don't think it can take one either. Hey, let me ask you something. Yep. Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Yeah, I'm fucking fine. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Massacre of the CPG, huh? M Massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about fifteen. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand. She'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home, and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Hmm. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, <laughs> beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things... Uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Oh, uh, yeah, because we're standing out here in the open, Nick. I mean, I love conversation as much as the next fucking guy, but... Let's see here. A little water. But we will get rest. Check my stats. I'm probably going to go back up to that um, rooftop 
spot to get some sleep. Make sure I'm not carrying any junk. Doesn't look like it. But I will uh, hook my um, rocket launcher up to the spot where it can be used. Make sure it's loaded. I think it's got a four round magazine, if I remember correctly. Check these buildings out under cover of darkness. Thought I saw movement, but it's just a fan, but there could be something on the other side of that window. Uh, whatever it is, it looks big. Hold. All right, let's just chill out here for a second, guys, because that fucking thing is huge. Psst, stay there. I'll stay put. Let's see if I can get a better look at it. Holy shit. I don't even know how to deal with that thing. I guess I could probably plant one of the mini nukes. In case it comes charging this way. And then I'll back up on it and hit it with a rocket launcher. Take some overdrive or something. Why would you fill yourself with that? Because it gets me high, Nick. High enough to do something crazy like uh, I think anodyne cures lethargy. It might be energy pills. Let me check. Herbal stimulant. Got to be shitting me. Is it even taking any damage? What the fuck? Does it just not die? I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before.
certainly was interesting. Dog me, come boy. Hey. Go ahead. Over here. Hey. I've been told Glad I loaded up on fifty. Take another uh, fifteen rounds. I'll take twenty. That's the damnedest thing I've ever seen. Valentine Detective. Go back to using the uh, grenade launcher. The agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. That looks like power armor. A whole lot of power armor wearing fucking people. Something's up. So let me do live save, temp save. We'll use the rocket launcher again for this. Hey! Take all the rockets. Maybe I can try a nuke grenade. Get it up in there first. What the? Something out there. I ain't dying for this. You're not gonna run, you fucking prick. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Bleeding to death. Sure my weapons are loaded. Yeah, everything looks good. Let's move up on it. This has just been weird. The 
say the very least. Take this for Nick. Anything useful? Yep. Heads up. Here's what I've got. I really didn't intend to blow everything to bits, but... Oh, that's just how it had to work out. What you got for me, boy? Is that a musket? It sure was. Six crank muskets are a pretty badass weapon. So I know where there's scrap. Screws, leather, everything I need. Take a couple of these things back to the uh, little service station over there. And that way I can make some modifications. I do think I picked up Gun Nut 4. Good things those mines weren't active. Look alive. Take a look. Okay, is there a way to the upper story of this building here? Look alive. Go on. Whatever you need. Still confused about that gunner presence that was in this area. And the mines that I've uh, had the displeasure of triggering around here.
surgical trays have three uh, solid pieces of aluminum. I mean, I don't really know what I need. I'm just kind of grabbing some things since I know I'm going to go back to that area. Anyway. So I might as well make the best of it. I think I just picked up gun nut four, so. See what I can do. Where are those gunner bodies? Those are not the type of thing you want to really leave around. Usually they got some good stuff on them. I recovered a couple of grenades. I'm just going to take the damn buff out. These are always fun, but this is a powerful receiver. It's not automatic. Yeah, so long as you're carrying it. Looking for metal for uh, Nick or robot armor or something like that. I'm about to call it quits and retreat back to that uh, area and see what Gun Nut 4 can do for me. I've had enough hanging around out here. Live save temp save. That actually looks like something in the distance over there. 
maybe it's a red tarp. Hey, there's something. Yeah, let me take all the junk you got. Let's see what we can do. You need. I have gotten it for. I don't. I took something else. I took sniper. That's right. We'll just leave this shit over here and uh, come back and get it another day. Now that we know we're stocked up. Kind of withdraw to the safe place. Think where was that nice clean bed? Oh yes, it was underneath the facility. We'll head down there and get some rest. Damn it. Fucking telling. <sighs> Sounds like bots. If they are around, I don't know where they are. So I'm just gonna carry on with my plan. Set a couple of mines. And... What may come, may come. I wish I could find a cooking station. I've got 46 blood packs I'm carrying. So, just a lot of bullshit. Hey. I mean, it's all very, very valuable stuff. I just uh, don't have everything to make it useful.
Okay, that's pretty pretty good and buffed. All right, I'm going on 44 minutes on this one, so it's uh, I guess just as good a time as any to um, end this particular stream. It's been Hank. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.